Good afternoon. Good we afternoon. just uh, received this from Form Lighting. Yeah, our friends from Dai Dynamics actually sent it over to us. So it's their first Bronco headlights and we are going to install it to our Bronco. Yep, let's. So this is, oh wait, this is the before look and this is the uh, after look. So first things first, we have to remove this uh, because uh, we won't be able to remove our front grill. We finally finished removing the winch, the bull bar, and now we're finally going to remove the grill. So after removing the grill, we're now going to unscrew the screws that is connecting to the headlights. And we'll be using a number 10 to unscrew the headlights. We're using a number 8 to remove the bottom screw right here and there's also a pin right, right there, there. So, so total of four yeah so we remove all of the screws so now we are just going to pop the headlight out all right so that was a little tight here because we never we never removed it this thought, is the first time i thought i broke it no but it's I did. just a pin so you have to like yank it or pull it out this way uh -huh. and then that will loosen right here okay so we just loosen this part out so in order for us to just pull the headlight out and then we gotta all unplug right. this so we just finished unplugging the wire all you have to do is just pinch this part and pull it out and we're going to plug this in right here there you go Okay. All right, and then we're gonna turn it on to see what color this is. Well guys, we found the right color already. <laughs> so here's the uh, OEM and then there's this color. Yeah. There, we don't have to do anything no more. Oh, this is nice. Okay. Oh, oh. You activated all four lights or all four of them. Oh, this is nice. I don't know what you did, but this is cool. So it's, it's, it's all the, uh, that color, huh? Yeah. You don't need to do anything nope. then. Then we're done. So here's the extra, extra wires. Uh, we have no idea what this is because we already like the amber look. <laughs> but uh, let's, let's yeah. try it out. So now it became white. Yeah. If we um, plug the, the additional the additional wire. And then we plug these two together. So basically that's the white um, and daylight white. Yep. running light. Okay, that's nice. So we unplug the white and we just plug this one in. So that's how it became just the yellow. So we'll, we'll mess around some more. So if you guys want all white, you just have to plug this, this two connection <laughs> connector together and you'll get all white. And now we're going to try this extra wire. The again. extra wire that comes with finish removing the uh, uh, 10 this fuse the for the ignition. And we are going to plug this wire in. And it still looks the same. So this is how it's look like with uh, what's this when it's connected to the fuse box. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. still the same. Maybe we yeah. should... This is already plugged there, right? Yep. Okay. We just finished plugging... The white. The white. So it's the... Uh, oh! Now it's all white. Oh, but I wonder why you need... Uh, there's a connector to the fuse box. Interesting. We removed the uh, fuse box um, wiring and then we connected it to the white. White and red. Let's see what. Let's see how this looks like right now. And it looks exactly the same. No color change. No color change. Nope. So um, we got this one on. We got the side marker on. And this is how it looks like so this is how it looks like signaling 
And then go to the other side. Okay, so that's how that looks like. Right, so we just finished removing all the extra wirings. Extra wiring. And we're now just going to connect the uh, Ford OEM wire straight directly to the headlight. So we slide it back in. Back in. It's not fully pushed on yet. No, not yet. So we decided to just go with the regular plug and play. Yeah, just the right. We, we love the color. Um, uh, yeah. So it's perfect. I already pushed in the headlight, and all we have to do now is screw it back on. This is how the lights look like right here. And let's see if. Oh wow, look at the difference right there. Oh, it's still the same height level. So we don't have to adjust it. Can you please turn on the lights again? There you go. But look, look at the difference. And this is daytime. So you got the the new headlight from Form and then you got the OEM. Wow, it's like two times brighter. All right, so we're just putting all the screws back on. Yep. We made we're... sure that everything's plugged. Yeah, because that's gonna and we're suck. happy with the with the color. The color, because there's uh, really kind of no turning back from yeah. here. The good thing is at least it's really a plug and play for now. <laughs> yeah, it really is a plug and play. All right, so we are now in the driver's side, and we're just removing this part now. All right, we are now plugging in our driver's side headlight. Okay, so this is how all our headlights look like right now perfect all's good oh you're signaling mm -hmm. i was about to say cool signal to the other side please all right that works okay on yeah before we uh screw everything on we want to make sure that the headlights are it's even yep it's in the line it's even oh that's the beam light okay oh wow the beam light is all four of them can you do that again please there you go nice okay, so we just finished putting this piece in this one was a little bit tricky but yeah. it's all good we popped it right in and we'll just remove the cover later. Yeah. Wait, we could still remove it, right? With the grill on? Yeah. Yeah, all right, just making sure. So we already finished putting the grill in and we are now going to screw it all back on. All four screws. Before putting everything back in, we're going to start the car. <laughs> Looks all good. Signal works. Signal works. And then this is how our new headlights look like now. Uh, perfectly leveled. Oh. We just realized that um, if you just literally just plugged and play it and the car is on what automatic setting no lights will be turned on so she just turned on the car no lights are on and it's automatic but if she puts it down the setting on the light there you go uh, you could turn off the fog light. There you go. Up. Put it on top of the automatic. There you go. And this is how it looks like on top of the automatic. We figure the con configuration of this headlight. So basically it's just everything. The halo and the line is amber. 
so it's the raptor style and then you have that extra wiring harness if you want it to be um, all white like your regular raptor headlights or your regular bronco headlights and then if um you wanted daytime running lights yeah you would have to connect time. full yeah. time you would have to connect it to the, the extra wiring harness. extra wiring harness going to the fuse, fuse box. box so yeah. anyways it's just to switch away if you yeah. want it all right so we're here at in and out we got a double double two fries and water okay let's do this this way 